Hello everyone, uh, this is a help video for Grade 2 Pity Valse Little Waltz. It is the last piece in the book for Grade 2. Uh, check out my new pencil case. I've just come back from holiday and I bought myself a new pencil case just to amuse some of my younger learners throughout the year. And of course, got some new pens and pencils because it's coming up to September. Oh, and if you're wondering, I went to the Malaysian part of Borneo and I also bought this cool pencil. Right, in fact, I think I might use this today. So here we go, Pity Fuzz. Right, watch out. Uh, it is in, uh, it's got one sharp at the beginning, so watch out for that. And they're both in treble clef. That doesn't mean two right hands. Your top one is your right, like normal. The bottom one is the left hand. And I'm actually going to do the left hand of the whole piece because it's quite a similar pattern and we just got to figure out the notes. So, Beat, uh, first bar. We've got a B as your low note and a G as the top one. So it goes sh, T, T, sh, T, T, sh, T, T. Now, those first three bars, you may have spotted the thumb stays on G. So think of the little finger, which goes B, sh, B flat, sh, and A. Okay, we take a rest. We slide forwards, D and F sharp. Now I think it repeats. So we get B and G, B flat and G, A and G, and we move forwards. Second thoughts, I'm going to do the right hand now. So one, two, three, one, two, three, milk, T, one, two, and three. Okay, it's got a nice tune there. Um, let's look at that again, the right hand. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, F sharp, two, three, one, two, and play. Just wanted to show you that bar. Here we go, look at this when I'm teaching this. I make my people say one, two, and play. Okay, there, one, two, and play. One, two, and play. Let's take line one again with the right hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, milk, tea. One, two, and play. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So sometimes on the minims, the white notes, I Sometimes I count it, sometimes I say milk. So here, milk, tea, milk, tea. One, two, three. All right, let's put that together. So we get one, two, never played it so I just don't really want to teach it to you wrong I've got to be careful one two See, bass clef sign, bass clef. So, the music looks like it's gone a lot higher. We finished on D and F sharp, but it's actually sliding down one to F natural, and a G. So, sh, T, T, sh, T, T. Now it says one and two. I think I prefer one and three. I do. You don't have to copy me, and your teacher may insist you play one and two, but I, and just for my hand, I prefer one and three here, okay? Doesn't matter if you do one and two, both are acceptable. Just make sure you keep with the same fingers. Right, both black notes, F sharp and a D sharp. 
Now, I do agree, one and four, G sharp and D sounds horrible, but it's correct. So, the beginning of line two. A and C sharp, Sh, same, A, and then A and C natural, Sh, keep the C there, I call, I call that an anchor, it's just what I call it when a, when a finger sort of anchors itself to a note, so from the A and the C to a D and a C, okay, let's try the other hand, 4 on D, and play. So in music, try and get used to spotting patterns. You may spot that that rhythm there is the same as that rhythm there. The notes are different. Um, well, they're actually reversed, but the rhythm is the same. One, two, and play. So, milk, tea, milk, tea, one, two, and play. Milk, Oh, that change caught me out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold, two, three. F sharp. Watch out for the change. Here, that note caught me out. I, you will be on finger three here, uh, and it changes to five. So, line two, hands together. The left hand now, I think, has the melody. One, two, three. One. I recognize this tune. One, two, three. One, two, three. But I think it's swapped around, hasn't it? So, left hand. One, two, three. This is the same as the, the beginning of the piece. Yeah, that's all identical. Watch out for this button oh, too close to the camera. I'll show you overhead what that means. Two to four. That means when you get to that D, you play it with a finger two and you swish to finger four while still on it. You don't let the note come up, you can keep it down. Okay, right hand on a B and a D. So it goes shh. Then we jump up an octave. Chromatic. I'll definitely be using two and four. So we've gone three and five on the B and the D. I push forwards. And now I think I'm going to go one and three. Um, whoops. Also, that bit, if you take it, forget about the piece for a second, but that kind of sound is always funny if you go wrong. Now he went wrong, or she went wrong. Anyway, so these are the silly things I like to play. So we get shh, octave, shh, shh, repeats. So we get shh, octave, blacks, whites. Okay, so put it together. One. Sound right, but it is. I'll do it again. Don't like that. Now two to four. 
same as the before. Oh, I don't like that bit. Okay, I'm going to play the line again, but I tell you what, when we, the third bar really throws me. It just sounds weird. Sorry, Mr. Brian Chapel, but it sounds a bit weird, that bar. One, two, three. up a finger there on this note and it does have a finger written in three and it, and it will affect you uh, on the next bit okay so let's just have a look at that also I think perhaps I'm just going to test this out but perhaps a one is best on that E so I'm just going to have a look at this left hand again because I wasn't too sure so two to four agree Oh, three is there, so that's no problem. And then, I do think I'm actually going to put the one going under there, which I didn't do before. I'm drawing an arrow in to remind me to go under, okay? Just, you must sort of invent your own little code. Arrows, circles, underlines, and know what they mean for you. So here's line three. First thing you've got to do is contract the hand. Okay, so the th you skip out finger two and you put one on D. So we get one, two, three. Now it says to put two on B, but I wonder if we can get away without that. I think I'm going to go with finger three actually on the B uh, and four on the A, and then the thumb under. So this is how my copy looks. My copy looks like this. I've circled the D, because you've got to watch out for that one. I put the 3 on the B, 4 on A, and the thumb goes under to G. So, let's have a go at it. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, hold, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, under, and then D, 2, 3, G. I can't sing that low. By the way, my lowest singing note is a C, G, F, P, D, C, oh, hello, my name's John. Anyway, back to it. Sorry, I'm a bit jet lagged today. I, I only came back from a holiday today and I was on a long flight. So I'm a bit tired and acting a bit silly. Right, the right hand. That's the same as before. Now look at this, we get C and D. Now, most teachers will teach you one and two, but a fun trick is just to use the thumb across two notes. But probably on this piece, I would do one and two. But you might have a teacher who teaches you that technique, just finger one. And I suppose you could do just finger five, but I, I will teach one and two and four and five. And then it's the same again. Now it's not the same. Now this time we jump up one octave, where finger two is, is where the thumb goes, it's a D and a B, and then we come back down, one and five I use, but the book says one and four. So here's the last line with the right hand. Shh. Shh. One, two. Four and five. Back to the same thing. together. Okay, a nice little song. I hope uh, my little tutorial helps you to learn it um, and I look forward to see you on some of the other videos for grade two. Keep practicing and get going on this new grade. See ya.